Hi there, welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're finding the x-intercepts or the roots of quadratic graphs. Let's start with a skill I need you super good at. I need you really good at being able to solve a quadratic expression equal to zero or a quadratic equation where one side is zero. Pause the video and double check you can answer the following two questions. And you should have been able to get the following. I would expect you to try to factorise and solve like that. In the case here with negative x squared, I'd like you as a step one to factorise out negative one, then divide both sides by the negative one and proceed as normal. Okay? So I would expect you super good at those. If you're not and any of those don't make sense to you, please go back to your building blocks because that's what this video is all about. Now let's go back to our pictures of the graphs. Remember, I told you we're going to build up towards and drawing a fully labelled quadratic given its equation. So that's going to involve for a quadratic that's either a U or an N shape, it's going to involve finding its turning point, its line of symmetry, its Y intercept and its X intercepts or the roots. And in this particular video, we're focusing on the X intercepts, another name for which is the roots. So how would we find those? Well, just a little think, what, how did we find the y-intercept? We found the y-intercept by realising that's where the graph crossed the y-axis. It was where x was equal to 0. And we substituted x is 0 and found the corresponding y, and that gave us the coordinates of the y-intercept. The x-intercepts, or another name for it, are the roots. Clearly, you can see here that the y-values must be 0. After all, these coordinates lie on the x-axis. So we're going to substitute in y is equal to 0 to find the roots or the x-intercepts and find the x that matches the y being 0. So let's get straight onto it and do some examples. If you feel like you can do it, pause the video and have a go. Here we're asked to find the x-intercepts of the graph with the equation shown. So we're trying to find the coordinate of this point and this point, another name for it being the roots. So we know at these two points one thing for sure is true, y is 0. Now we have our graph, y is equal to x squared, add 10x, add 21. And we're going to tell the examiner or whoever's marking our work what we're doing. We say at the x-intercepts, we know one thing is true, we know y is 0. So let's solve 0 is equal to x squared, add 10x, add 21. We'll try and solve that by factorising. So that does factorise, that factorises as x add 7 x add 3. Therefore we get two sets of solutions, x add 7 is equal to 0 or x add 3 is equal to 0. Subtracting 7 off both sides, x is negative 7. Subtracting 3 off both sides, x is negative 3. They are our two potential answers. Now it asks for the coordinates. The coordinates therefore are negative 7, 0 and negative 3, 0. So we can write them in negative 7, 0 and negative 3, 0 and they are the coordinates of the x-intercepts or the roots. Again, they look sensible. Both the x-numbers are negative because the whole graph is this side, the left side of the y-axis, so that looks sensible. Let's have a go at another one. Pause the video, have a go. This time it's asked for the roots. We need to know that roots means x-intercept. So here's our graph, y is equal to x squared, add x, take away 6. We know for sure at the roots or what we call the x-intercept. We know one thing is true, we know that y is equal to 0 there. So let's solve 0 equals x squared add x take away 6. Try and solve that by factorising. It factorises really nicely as x add 3, x take away 2. And therefore we're going to get that x add 3 equals 0 is one answer, or x take away 2 is 0 is the one answer. So therefore x is negative 3, or x is going to be positive 2 are our answers. They ask for the coordinates, so negative 3, 0 is one coordinate, and positive 2, 0 is the other. So clearly this one's the negative one, negative 3, 0 there, and this one here, that's going to be 2, 0. And again, they're sensible. One is a negative number because it's the left of the y-axis. One's a positive number, it's the right of the y-axis. And actually, even the way the graph looks, this one looks slightly closer to the y-axis because it's 2 than this one does, because this one is 3 away from the y-axis. So it all looks pretty good. And we're done there. Let's try another one. Pause the video, have a go. So again, we're trying to find the roots or the x-intercepts, which are here and here. 
The graph we're dealing with is y is equal to 2 add x subtract x squared. So it's a negative quadratic, so it's an n-shaped parabola. So what we're going to do here, we're trying to find the roots. We know at the roots, or potentially the better name for them is the x-intercept. We know one thing is true, y is 0. So we're trying to solve 0 equals 2 add x take away x squared. Now what I could do at this point, if I want, I don't like this negative x squared, it's causing me some problems, so I can multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. The reason I can get away with doing that here is this side is 0 and it's not going to change the value of that. So multiplying both sides by negative 1, what would I get? I'd still get 0 is equal to. Now everything negative now becomes positive, everything positive now becomes negative, so I could write this here as x squared subtract x subtract 2, rewriting the order with the positive term first. Can I factorise that? Absolutely I can. That factorises to x subtract 2, x add 1. Therefore I have x subtract 2 is 0 or x add 1 is 0. Adding 2 to both sides I get x is 2. Subtracting 1 from both sides I get x is negative 1. The coordinates therefore are 2, 0 and negative 1, 0. So putting them in here they fit perfectly. One is to the right of the y-axis slightly more than the other one is to the left of the y-axis at negative 1 and we're done. Let's have a go at another one. Pause the video, have a go here. Okay, we're trying to find the roots. Now it seems like this graph isn't crossing at two places. It seems, if anything, to be touching at one particular place and we may investigate that later. Anyway, the roots are still the same thing. It is where y is equal to 0. So what we're going to do is the graph we're dealing with is x squared subtract 6x add 9. We know for one thing for sure at the roots or at the x-intercept y is 0. So let's try and solve 0 equals x squared subtract 6x add 9. Does that factorise? Absolutely it does. It factorises as x subtract 3, x subtract 3. Therefore, we have x subtract 3 is 0 or, wait a minute, the exact same thing, x subtract 3 is 0. In which case we get the answer x is 3 and x is 3. Repeat it. So we get the same answer. So therefore the coordinate is just at 3, 0. But hold on a minute, that makes perfect sense with our graph. Remember we said our graph didn't appear to have two x-intercepts. It just appeared to have one. And indeed it has what we call a repeated one at the coordinate 3 across 0 up and that's something we're going to talk a little bit about a little bit more about later but there you go that is the root it is the same repeated root so I'm actually right there it's a repeated root okay let's have a go at another one there pause the video have a go again we're trying to find the roots there's one of them there's the other the graph we're dealing with is y is equal to x squared add 4x we know at a root, or at an x-intercept we call it, y is 0. So we try and solve the equation, 0 equals x squared add 4x. We solve that by basic factorising. We can factorise that common factor of x, and it factorises like that. Therefore, on the one hand, x must be 0, or on the other hand, x add 4 must be 0. x is 0 is one of the solutions, taking away 4 from both sides, x is negative 4 is the other. So therefore, our coordinates, that would be negative 4 with 0 and 0 with 0. And that does fit in with what the graph has. That looks like it's going through the origin 0, 0. And this one is to the left of the y-axis. Negative 4, 0 seems like a good um, coordinate for that. And that's it for this particular video. Thanks loads for watching.